welcome back to Space Haven. Now, there has been multiple and massive salvage operations going on, and uh, there hasn't been any other uh, vessels visiting the system while I've been doing this, but I had to build another generator as I, my power grid got overloaded when I started up all of these machines to both salvage things. I'm salvaging infra scrap into uh, infra blocks, and I've made a rather decent amount of hull blocks from the um, steel plates that we have lying around. And we only have four left of those. Now, I also completed the warp drive or hyperdrive. Uh, this has a mass capacity of 1600, and I'm a bit worried about that because our mass is. 2236 so I might actually have to build another one but uh, we need to build an operations console first and foremost so uh, let's go and do that operations console would like it to be online with the one that we have there so like that I also stopped the kitchen from making food, so we have some spare vegetables and fruits. Which uh, reminds me that we should probably build another grow bed now. As well. So basically the only things that I've done is that I've built that generator, which is a large one. I've uh, salvaged quite a bit of uh, stuff. As you can see, there's no infra scrap left. There's a little bit of energy scrap. I'm not that worried about the uh, soft scrap, um, nor am I concerned about the hull scrap. This thing has been stripped rather bare. There is not much left here. And um, I've also switched places for these two because this light didn't get enough power or didn't get power at all. And uh, I went into the kitchen and uh, just removed use root vegetables, fruits and uh, artificial meat. I'm a bit worried about the fact that you can use human meat in here, but... Uh, okay, is all I have to say. This is, after all, somewhat like RimWorld, so... I guess it shouldn't be that unexpected. I also built a thermal regulator in here. And I did a small job on the links. They were not ideal with the new generator and stuff. I am contem contemplating, not contemplating, although well, that would be a funky way of uh, pronunciation. Um, I'm contemplating removing this. Uh, and I actually might have to, to get room for another one of these, because I suspect we're not going to be able to do a hyper jump when our mass is above 1600. I think this does provide enough power for us, so let's just do that right away. Put it on dismantle. And stop it as well. Shouldn't... I think we get enough power from this thing. Though I wish it did show us somewhere. At least we can't do hyper jump. Yes, so this is correct. We can't do a hyper jump. We need another hyper uh, hyper drive. Which means that it would probably also be a good idea to activate the sketch. No. Not activate it, but to sketch out this and activate it. Let's activate those two first so we can build a wall. It's going to get very hot in here now. I did need the additional storage. That's something that I also finished. created some uh, electronics components. But occasionally I have to tell people to go do things. Peps, go construct that, please. 
this thing as soon as you're done doing your business there Polly go build that I think we can turn off the salvage now I think there's anyone over here, but uh, I think we have what we want from that ship. We are capable of doing hyperspace travel, but I don't think we are, because I think that if I try... probably say that we can't. Waiting for navigator. Okay, so we just need more fuel. Okay, jump. This would be the logical place to jump to, so... Foom. And it doesn't seem that there is anything of interest. I mean, I can move the ship around when I... Let's drop it there. Is there anything at all? It doesn't appear to be anything here whatsoever. Um, what does this look like? Okay, so we can... There's a ship there. There's a wreck there. Let's prepare for another hyper jump then. Empty system doesn't do anyone much good. And jump. So, since there's a ship... Oh, it left. Well, we don't want to go there. There's pirates there. Um, let's jump there then. This thing does not look like something that could actually fly. Let's put our ship here. So we have access to all of these things easily. And here we are. Um, now we need to speed down. Peps, I need to draft you. You can uh, enter this craft, thank you. And then this craft wants to dock here. But this is base metals and this is Hyperion hyperdrive fuel. Hope there isn't anything nasty in here. But I'm guessing that is hoping for too much. There we go. Yeah, that was hoping for too much. Although it didn't last long. Shotgun is really effective. I'm 
use this. Credits and a new data lock. There's a heap of stuff here. Door. That looks like an oxygen generator or a gas scrubber, I don't remember. The crocodilus den. Okay, well, let's uh, put you back in this craft. Or wait, what I can do is undraft you and undraft you. And then we can salvage things. Human meat. Meat from a human. How wonderful. Let's transfer this fruits. The energy cell. The electronics components. Energy blocks, tech blocks, infra blocks, those energy rods and the water, and of course the space food. And we can speed things up again. a good autopilot on that thing. And apparently they're done with this as well, so we should probably build the wall here. But first they have to go pick up the stuff from over here. I'm glad that this is a much smaller ship, because salvaging the other one was uh, very time-consuming. You can see it's day 17. I don't remember what day it was when I ended the last episode, but it was definitely not day 17. Yeah, I just leave the guys there. No problem at all. What can we salvage from this thing? Infra scrap, tech scrap, and energy scrap, and hull scrap. Well, let's salvage those. We don't need soft scrap. And. Uh. Sure. Soft scrap is what we definitely do not need. Airlock blocked. Yeah, that's probably because there's too much in it. Someone might need to go over here and, you know, take things from that to the storage. Just an idea, though. You can use that as the storage instead, I suppose.
How is Trunefix resting comfortably? Are you guys going to tear down all the walls? It's going to take a while. I think Toonfix wants to go home. That's why you're wandering around, you be charging things. Finally. We're gonna get a lot of lot of other stuff coming over um, from that uh, derelict ship, so it's a good thing that you uh, pick some of these things into storage for us. Well, that's all you bothered to do, okay. Now it's already blocked again. So does this mean that you're done with uh, the salvage? No, you're not. Hyperlane of Exile. Brilliant name for a game. You're quite lazy, Peps. Where did that water come from? Does this thing... Right. Yummy. No further comment. Probably grow some things in here as well. Uh, let's grow some fruits and some root vegetables. Then we can build one more. And if I do things correctly in this room, which would mean moving, actually. I don't need fiber, like the uh, this thing here, fibers, because I don't need fabrics currently. Um, we're all good on that. What I do need, however, is artificial meat. I like that he built one segment of a wall before he started. They, they are very random in what they're doing. <laughs> It's quite amusing to watch them. I'll carry some crates and then I'll construct some wall and then I'll go play something and then I'll just wander around aimlessly before I go back and do things again, you know? It's too much to do around here. Ah, oh, let's build a bit, little bit more wall, then carry a few more crates and uh, maybe, you know, carry another crate and... Uh... Oh, the storage is full. I'll, I'll go out to salvage then. Yeah, uh, that sounds like a good idea. I... We have to build hypersleep chambers? Oh. Right. Well, four hypersleep chambers. That's going to be nasty. How are we going to scrap currently?
21 of that. Okay, so the wall is done, then we can activate the sketch for the rest of this. Now they're going to be even more confused. Should I carry crates? Should I salvage? Should I build hull? Should I sleep? Should I go to the bathroom? Maybe I should do some gardening. Who knows? Let's grow some artificial meat. One thing that I noticed that was uh, a bit annoying, I don't know if I would call it annoying, but rather I completely, oh yeah, um, is that I only have one botanist. Quadrotus is the only one with any skill in botany whatsoever, so if he's asleep there will be no harvesting. On the other hand, he's a level 3 botanist, so... But if there's one thing that I definitely would like, it is more crew members, because uh, four crew members, yeah, it seems a bit on the um, low side, based on my experiences so far. But apparently we can find those around. Ah, we got a new data log. Tranquility. Log 1. Where the wind takes us. Personal log. First entry. Captain Michael Raymond of the good ship Tranquility speaking. I wonder if I should feel guilty about how glad I was to see the back of Earth. Ain't probably never gonna see that again. And good riddance. Whole place was... Uh, troubling. And that's putting it mild mildly. Sure ain't gonna miss ranching cattle only to have them all stolen and slaughtered by starving refugees. Idiots didn't leave no breeding stock, meaning no more cows, meaning no more food. Safe bet they turned to eating each other in the, in the end. Still, tranquility ain't exactly a step up from the ranch. I'm gonna miss big open skies and the wind in my face, that's for sure. And I'm really gonna miss my dog. But L, I'm alive, and we got food and good crew. Ain't my concern if Katie wants to sleep next to the power core, or Glass keeps reading the same Bible over and over again like he's trying to memorize it. And Sam? I ain't never looked at a woman the way Sam looks at his rifle. He even named the damn thing, which is just weird. But I'm glad on, I, but I'm glad on, he's on my side. I guess we'll go, just go where the wind takes us, so to speak, and do our best to scratch out a living. We ain't the first folks to try and make something of a new frontier. We won't be the last either. It won't be easy, but we can do it. End log entry. Guess that was a bit of an amusing correlation of... Uh, or combination of various accents and dialects all in once. I'm not very good with... Uh, especially Southern American dialects in English. This unreachable areas thing is of course that they haven't completed this yet. How is the salvage going? Quite well. Remove those. We can mine these. Just to confuse the crew even more. We have many hull blocks now, so the question is, is um, hyper, uh, are those, have support, power, facility, hyper sleep chambers. Okay, so I suppose we could build them down here. 
make a wall over there and uh, although I might have to uh, fix this wall because this is not what it's supposed to look like. I hope that fixes it itself when they're done doing this otherwise we'll have to uh, rebuild it. Currently we're doing quite well, I would say. Might have been a good idea to have another toilet since they keep complaining about that, but uh, we don't have the room for that. I would have to extend that wall one more up, means I would have to extend this one more up, but I guess we could do that actually. We uh, sketch two times eight and activate that. We're also running low on food, which is, of course, why I built these things. How is this stuff going? Not bad. Not bad. So apparently I'm going to have to fix the wall here because I can't have it look like this. Lesson for the future. I'm sure there's three faces before you build a wall. Oh, and uh, I noticed that Wally's mood has improved uh, significantly after he uh, managed to uh, clean his um, gear. Most people's moods are actually quite high. 65. All you need to do is eat and uh, you'll be fine, Pep. So apparently I'm managing to keep these guys happy, which is not bad. Why were you wandering down there just to go back up there? No sense you make. What am I salvaging over here now? Infra scrap. You know what? I don't think we need that now. Uh, and transfer the soft those are not bad i don't think i want the monster corpse i don't know what i'm supposed to do with that probably a facility that i can build um Micro Weaver, no. Energy refinery, chemical refinery. No, well, none of these appear to be using uh, alien corpses. Can I get rid of this? Yes, eject item. Oof. Ah, looks like a turkey. Flying space turkey. Bye.
Now we need to build the walls up again. I don't know. Two, three, four. I think actually it would be useful to have the opportunity to um, spill a door. There, I think. And we can build a wall like that. Mining accident? Maybe you got hurt or something? I don't know. Probably since your health is down to 90. Now, if you guys actually prioritize doing this down here, that would be very, very helpful. Sorry for interrupting your bedtime. Speed things down a bit fully. No. Go build the wall. We need that wall. Because as long as we don't have that wall, it's going to be high level of discomfort around here. don't come back here and then you build this one now this one we even dare go anywhere. Oh, I know that you want to sit down in a couch, but you're not allowed to sit down on a couch yet, Wooly. You're supposed to build the walls first. Then you can go do whatever you want to mingle around on your trip. here build the wall when you're done with that now you can go do what not um we need power in that room though one wall node isn't going to cut it one inflow node might cut it however These uh, hyper sleep chambers. Two, three. So that'll work. And then we need a wall light. Probably also need a wall thermal regulator in this room. The wall hasn't been built yet, though. Maybe just build it on the floor.
I can have one more bed there, and I can have one more bed there. And I can have one here. No matter how I do it. No, I'll build a wall thermal regulator. I'll just build it there. How is the oxygen? Speaking of scrubbing. Too bad. CO2. It's definitely acceptable. Comfort levels. Well, they could be worse. This room apparently is not very comfortable, nor is that. I didn't expect a room with a temperature of... Uh, what is the temperature in here? Minus nine to be comfortable. But at least the areas that are in use seem to be uh, doing well. Let's move the kitchen one back. And do the same with the uh, chairs here. Of course, they're going to spend ages doing those things because they are going to have to do everything else first, as per usual. You can also move this wall. Or maybe not, because that'll make it look silly, apparently. So let's just dismantle it then. I mean, who cares if they can get the uh, nice odors from the toilet temporarily into the kitchen. That's just going to be uh, an appetizer. No? You don't agree? Okay. Well, I can't say I blame you. It is temporary, though. Legendary Pants. That's that's a brilliant game game name. Am I still salvaging anything over here? No, good. That means they are now focusing on the ship itself. Give to speed things up. Eighteen space food rations left. You know, one of you should be prioritizing constructing over logistics. That would be you, Quad. You run, everyone running around carrying crates without anything getting done doesn't really help that much. Pick that up through that. Might need to redo that because you had an accident, you know. Much better. What did the put something in there, but I don't know what. Just energy rods as a resource. Okay. Uh, we are running low on that actually. Probably need that. I think we also need to have a wall light here. Not on the other side, though. I 
dismantle it then. Because I need space here for a reactor, I didn't think. That does happen. Okay, now let's move the tables. And move the chairs. The lamb. At the end, we need to build a wall here. You guys will just have to uh, suffer through the uh, humility of going to the same bathroom, right? Doesn't really appear to be bothering you anyway, so... we're done with that we should be able to consider doing another hyper jump though. perfect then we can build another turret Speaking of priorities, squad rotors should always prioritize to me. That looks good. Peps, don't be mean to God. And God, don't take it out on Wally. Okay, so I think, yep, we are at the point where we can do another hyper jump. So let's view our systems and prepare for hyper jump. Execute a jump. Now we can go to another solar system, apparently, since we have the sleep beds. Oh, oh my. Well, it's probably a good idea to uh, explore the area we are in. I have no idea what that is. So let's jump here. And move on up here. Yeah, let's let's stop here because there's a wreck here to salvage. That concerned about that. Jump down there, deploy. Oh, that's handy. Uh, Peps, where are you? I've been drafted. And this thing... It's... Uh, Dock here. I wonder what creative name this ship has. As soon as Peps can undock, let's speed it down a bit. There we go. There you go, Peps. 
boomy, boomity boom on the bing. No, not that. I like this exploration music. Go on, Peps. You can do it. Good, Peps. Data pad, credits, and a new data log. Where did you come from? Good. Credits and credits. We found the bathroom. This ship was bigger than expected. The engine room. There's some food over there. Perfect. This looks to be the operations room. Also, you're nearing a point where you should probably go back and get oxygen from the uh, shuttle. Speed the game up for that. Good, and we have to go back here. Sure, there's more. There is more nasties around here. It's fitting that they look like biters, though, isn't it? Well, that's a big generator. Hopefully we'll get nice salvage. The MFS Bellerophon. Or Bellerophon? You can just open the door, you know. It's easier than shooting it to bits. Credits. Okay, then we can undraft you, and we can undraft this. You probably want to go back to bed. Food, uh, that's a good thing. Um, all blocks, fruit, energy blocks. We want most of this except for the monster corpses. This is very good uh, salvage target as well. But I think I'll do that in between episodes, the uh, salvaging and uh, stuff like that, because that is rather boring to uh, watch, I think, especially with all these uh, headless chickens running back and forth. So for now, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.